wonderful viewers. People send me UFO sightings. At first sight, this one seemed pretty typical. Probably shot on rather a low-res camera phone, but showing a red orb making strange movements in the sky. At first sight, I thought it was a bit disappointing. And then I realise that the person has actually filmed one of Britain's most secret Cold War mysteries. Hey and welcome back. You will all remember Jamie. Jamie Grant lives in the Solway Firth, that big estuary between Scotland and England that leads to Carlisle. And Jamie saw a very strange UFO over Chapel Cross. At the time, Britain's main tritium production plant. I was suddenly hit by what I can only describe as a pulse of light energy. I remember the road lit up. I stopped my bike and looked up to see a misty object directly above the tritium plant chimney. I could also see flashing lights, which at first seemed random, but as I looked, the more I realised it had two bands of flashing lights, but on different planes, at right angles. Within under a minute, the mist gradually cleared to reveal a grey, spherical object with no markings. I marked my diary as 6.35am with the UFO sighting. You've all heard of Aldermaston, Windscale, and today Sellafield. But most people didn't know that the most secret ingredient for Britain's H-bombs is produced in a very secret facility in the south of Scotland on the Solway Firth. What Jamie saw that day is truly a mystery, but where he saw it makes it fascinating. And Jamie is a very credible witness. He was an electronics technician for the RAF, and he knows his Vulcans from his vanguards. Jamie knows his stuff. And today, Jamie Grant runs a drone photography and filmmaking service. And that led him to this strange sighting. While filming a promotional drone video for his local fishing lakes, one of the owners said she'd seen a strange light in the sky. And of course, she shared it with Jamie. And Jamie kindly shared it with me, and I'm sharing it with you. It didn't really take me long to discover what she'd seen. With a bit of video post-production processing, you can clearly see the horizon. It's very compressed, but you can see the artifacts indicating the ground and slightly different ones indicating the sky during this massive thunderstorm. And there clearly is a red dot. As the lightning flashes and Carol, who shot the video, moves her phone, the dot moves. Without this enhancement, at the end, it appears to fly off into space. But as soon as you look at it a bit more carefully, you can see that it's always anchored to the ground and it's only Carol moving her phone. And in fact, the very last frame you can see it returns to its original spot. Now, I'm not here to make fun of it. I wanted to tell Jamie what I genuinely thought it was so he could pass the information to his client, Carol. So I looked up the location of where it was shot on Google Maps. 
This is Carol's house, I assume, next to the fishing lakes. And in the video, you can clearly see there's a bit of a pond, then a large expanse to a horizon, and then the red dot. So she was probably filming the lightning storm out over the Solway Firth. Aha, that gives us a direction, south-west. And it seemed to me that a red light in the sky is probably a beacon on some antenna. And this is where the story becomes a Cold War mystery. What Carol unintentionally is filming is National Physics Laboratory Anthorn. NPL Anthorn was built post-World War II to protect Britain's national infrastructure. It mirrors a facility probably at the National Physics Laboratory, but actually, to this day, very secret. The young Tom Scott visited NPL and explains what he found there. Here at the radio transmission station in Anthorn, the National Physical Laboratory, NPL, broadcasts a time signal out to the UK in a simple enough format that the cheap electronics inside this clock can understand it and run accurately for over a year on a single AA battery. Fascinating, Tom. But why is that transmitter located just off the Solway Firth? Well, it's not the first time that this remote part on the border of England and Scotland has been used for very secret purposes. In fact, it dates back to World War I. These are women mixing devil's porridge, the lethal cordite used for World War I munitions. And down the road is Spade Adam, Spade Adam, Britain's rocket test rig. And most secret of all, Chapel Cross, making Britain's tritium. I feel I should explain what tritium is. You're a grown up boys and girls and you deserve to know. Well, tritium itself is pretty innocent stuff. It's just an isotope of hydrogen gas. You get H, you get H2, heavy water, deuterium, and tritium, H3. But it's used for a very secret thing. When Edward Teller came up with his fiendish plan to turn an atomic bomb into a hydrogen bomb, it was because of tritium. Tritium lets you dial in from a small explosion to a big explosion. So politically, you can imagine, you can fire your Trident missile and set the size of the blast when it hits your enemy. Very useful. And Chapel Cross made this stuff for Polaris and definitely Trident missiles. It only lasts about 12 years and needs to be changed, so you need a regular supply. It is entirely man-made, and it was produced at Chapel Cross in their nuclear reactors. Where it's made today is slightly unknown. I suppose it's made at Sellafield or bought from the United States because it regularly needs changing. Navy weapons people at Faz Lane regularly need to change the tritium. The tritium is in the form of pressurized gas in a container and a knob. And I'm not sure this gets so classified and it's not a Google searchable thing, whether the tritium gas goes into the hollow core of the initiating explosion or just into the case of the hydrogen bomb, which is full of this weird stuff, aerogel. They don't tell you that kind of stuff. But anyway, tritium gas is really needed for Britain's nuclear defence, and Chapel Cross was where it was made. So when Carol spotted a strange light in the sky, I wonder if she really knew she was filming one of Britain's most secret sites. 
the reference for the atomic clock, which keeps all of us in good time. This place is just one of the sites that makes the Solway Firth one of Britain's most secret areas. Keep sending me your mysteries because often they reveal a hidden truth. Because of you, the truth is out there. Thank <laughs> you.